She braiding the All Lives Matter out her scalp. She ain't gonna be able to lay her head down tonight. She braiding that hard, that must be for our ancestors. A payback for slavery, she gave her some Kunta cornrows. <laughs> she gonna have them little pull bumps on the back of her neck, Lord have mercy. Today's video was a requested one. Shout out to Nicole for sending this in. The video we're going to be looking at today is from the Dr. Phil's show. We've spoken about cultural appropriation a good number of times on this channel, but today we're going to be having an in-house conversation on this topic that's different from the conversations we've had on the topic before. Everything I want us to talk about in this video ties back to this one question that I have. Why is it that some black people in the diaspora and in Africa invalidate and speak over African Americans and their long experience of oppression in America? White women have been braided. There is no problem. There is actually not a problem. But before we dive deep into today's topic, permit me, I would like to introduce you to a brand. Hey guys, I would like to introduce you to Natural Girl Wigs. Natural Girl Wigs is a black owned natural hair wig brand. A while back, I had decided that moving forward in my life, if I must wear a wig, it would have to be an afro wig or a wig with hair that looks like or is similar to the hair that grows out of my scalp. So when Natural Girl Wigs reached out to me, I was super excited. Me making that decision and months later they are reaching out, it felt like the universe was giving me a tap on the back saying, yes, Evie, we could sign this decision. They have an array of different natural hair wigs to choose from. I mean, check out this afro, guys. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I am definitely buying this. And the prices are affordable too. And also, they ship worldwide. You get 10% off your order if you use discount code NGWIVIE at checkout. Now, about this wig I have been putting on since forever. <laughs> This wig is called the Fox Coily Headband Wig. I had to make little adjustments here and there at the front and this is not something that you have to do but it was something that I needed to do because I kind of have a small face. So I trimmed here and there to fit my face. Now about this look guys, honestly this was my first time trying this look and I do have to say I dig it. I like the look. I think I pulled it off but let me know what you think. Thank you to Natural Girl Wigs for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to today's topic. Kim Kardashian has definitely been accused of cultural appropriation. She has literally changed her entire aesthetic to fit a black woman. One of the most obvious ways is when she started wearing cornrows, which is a black cultural style. So when she wore it, people thought that this was the most trendy style they had ever seen. She started being seen as the creator of that hairstyle. It's really not fair because black women have historically been called ghetto for having cornrows, as that is one of the staple styles in our culture. Now, Kim Kardashian is part Armenian. Is it okay for her to wear cornrows? I personally think that it depends on what boundaries that culture has set. So I can speak for black culture. The reason why, you know, some of us are offended and have problems with white women wearing braids is because it's documented. Black women are getting fired from their jobs for wearing braids. We are called ghetto. We are not seen as professional with our natural cultural hairstyles that are part of black culture. And then when white women wear them, they are glorified, praised, and even sometimes have the credit attributed to them. So that discrepancy is what, where the issue comes into play. If I could respond to that, I think you can speak for yourself as an individual as far as whether or not you are offended by something, but you can't speak on behalf of the entire black culture. There are plenty of black people who watched what Kim Kardashian did and thought the braids looked absolutely fine. And again, I do think imitating is flattery. She didn't step up and say that she's invented the hairstyle. If people attribute that to her, that's something that you do on an individual basis. Now, that response to me gives me the impression that she did not listen to everything that Britney said. Either she did not listen or she doesn't care about everything that Britney is saying because she responded to only one part of what Britney said. What Britney said about how when black people wear braids or when black women wear braids, they are considered to be ghetto and sometimes they lose their job and it's considered to be inappropriate. But when white women do 
do it, they are praised and glorified for it. She did not respond to that. Why? I must ask. And Amala saying that Britney cannot speak for the entire black culture. Britney is not the only one in the black community that's saying this. She's not the only one who feels this way about white women wearing black hairstyles. And I too want to believe that Amala knows that what she's dishing out to Britney, she should be taking herself because she too cannot speak for the entire black culture. And one thing that really frustrates me looking from the outside in is that I understand that yes, black hairstyles belongs to all black people. It is our culture to enjoy and adorn ourselves with and stuff. I guess that 100%. But then African-American people have had like a different experience from all of us. They have had to deal with a lot of BS historically for a very long time that resulted in them making the decisions that they've made today. They've dealt with a lot of crap and are still dealing with crap today. We cannot come in and start dictating to them how they can feel or they should feel about certain things. So yes, black hairstyles belongs to all of us, but we have to take a step back, listen to, acknowledge and respect the African-American experience. An experience that now resulted in them making the decisions that they make today. And that has nothing to do with us. Yes, black hairstyles belongs to all of us, but no, we cannot speak over African-Americans and their experiences and opinions. In a local competition, a black power lifter was forced to remove her hair beads in order to compete. The video then shows white teammates flocking to her and removing them. These athletes, like many others, were failed. in the state of New Jersey. Recall wrestler Andrew Johnson being instructed by a referee who previously uttered a racist slur, Alan Maloney, to have his hair cut to, you guessed it, be allowed to enter competition. And we see the exact same thing happening in South Africa. Now imagine white South Africans wearing black hairstyles, but then they don't get treated like they treat black people when they wear black hairstyles. And then black South Africans say, no, you can't wear our hairstyles. Then imagine me, a Nigerian, putting myself into the situation, saying, no, you can't say that to white people. They can wear any hairstyles they want to. I don't feel bad about it why should you you can't speak for the black community you can't tell people what they can and cannot do you don't own black hairstyles imagine me a nigerian fixing myself into their business like that invalidating all they've been going through and their experiences i feel like it's important to understand the difference between imitating and actually appropriating so imitating is like you like my nails you go do it you copy it imitating you like my shoes right. buy the same shoes sure. appropriating is when you are copying something of a culture that is not yours and you are, it's inappropriate. You are disrespecting the boundary that that culture has set. If I copied your shoes tomorrow because I like them, would that not be appropriation? I have not set a boundary against you about the shoes I wear. I don't face discrimination or racism because of the shoes that I wear. So if I, as a biracial half black woman, go to Kim Kardashian and say, you know what, that's not a boundary that I've set for you. You may wear cornrows. And I am essentially a black person who has told her I don't have that boundary. Is it then wrong for her to well, wear the braids the next day? Well, you as one woman cannot go and meet Kim Kardashian and give her the go ahead to black culture. You saying that even contradicts this you said earlier. You can't speak on behalf of the entire black culture. And I don't even want to talk about the shoe comment she made. Like, what did she think she was even doing there? When it comes to the topic of cultural appropriation, she obviously needs to listen more, read more, look into society more and see exactly what's going on in front of her eyes and talk less. At least until she has been able to grasp what cultural appropriation really means why it is said to be dangerous and it's leading to people gatekeeping their cultures even outside the black communities people are gatekeeping their cultures as well if you do that you're going to ignore the doc like there's countless documentation of a lot of black women being like discriminated and, and experiencing racism because of braids. So by doing that, you're kind of just dissing and ignoring the black women that are struggling with this issue, especially because you have to think, Kim Kardashian has an extremely large platform. Mm -hmm. So what she does, her fans see as law and see as she can do no wrong. So if she is seen as if something is being, that it's, it's okay, they're going to copy her, which will- well, What do the rest of y'all think? You guys wait, go ahead. I think the existence of a double standard that is that is unfairly being applied to black women about their hairstyles uh, doesn't in necessitate that, that that Kim Kardashian, we need a rule that she's not allowed, that all white women are not allowed to wear this hairstyle. Wait, 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 hold up. Why is a white man speaking on this topic? 
And what did they even say after I got the floor to speak? Rubbish. He was like, yes, black women are being discriminated against for wearing their cultural hairstyles, but let's not talk about that. That's not the problem here. That's not what we care about. What we care about is that our women, white women, are being stopped from wearing black hairstyles. That's the problem. That's what we should be tackling. He's like, you cannot tell our women to stop wearing your hairstyles even though you are getting discriminated against for wearing the same hairstyles. It's like, yes, you are getting discriminated. We don't care. Our women should be allowed to wear the hairstyles that they want to, even if it's your hairstyles that you get discriminated against for. Um, like Amla said, another black woman could, could not be offended by that. And uh, the, who, who gets to be the one wh whose rules are applied to all of society? You see it now, he's even quoting Amala. This is why I hate it when they always find that one black person that they can use to fight for their agenda. I hate it whenever I see it go down because they would always speak it back on what that one black person said and dangle it in our faces saying, oh, this person doesn't have an issue with it. Why do you have an issue with it? If this one person said it's okay, then it's okay for me to do it. Every time they do this. And the fact that they are fighting to be bald even, maybe we should just even let them and start giving them advice like, yeah, next time try micro braids. It would look good on you. Maybe when they are bored, we'll finally have peace. My goodness. They think they are here and our hair and our mates. Okay, now. Nah. Until next time, do mini twist. Yes, that should be perfect. Would look good on you, I swear. <laughs> it's a protective hairstyle. <laughs> Yeah, mini twists protect your hair from breakage. Mm -hmm. I was going to address the comments that were made in this video you are seeing on the screen right now. You saw a snippet of it at the beginning of this video, but if I have to address this video in this video, this video is going to be way too long. And I have said too many of these videos in this video. <laughs> so I am going to make a separate video to address the things that were said in this video because I like to keep my videos as short as possible and straight to the point. And I think I have successfully passed my point across in this video so guys i'm going to be leaving it here thank you very much for watching and once again shout out to natural girl wigs guys do check them out all you'll be needing is down below in the description so yeah let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this video and i'll see you guys in the next one